Gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, this is Needham High School, home of the Rockets, and today it is the first round matchup of the MIAA Division I South Bracket, the Brockton Boxers and the Needham Rockets going at it, the right to advance to the sectional quarterfinal, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the hardwood here in Metro West, Needham High School, the Brockton Boxers are going to be wearing their black jerseys, red trim around the white numbers, the Rockets, white jerseys, gold trim around the navy blue numbers. Boxers, first round playoff matchup, exit last year against the Newton South Lions. Looking to avenge that. The sisters Elizabeth Williams and Alexandra Williams back in the lineup after that suspension towards the end of the regular season. And Elizabeth Williams has it off the opening tip. 
and she's called for the travel. So Needham takes over, 7.51 to go on the first. Now the Rockets with it. Ball movement for the Rockets. Three from the corner. Good for number 11. Now Brockton trying to work it inside. Laying it up and in is number 33 for the Boxers. Put back left there for the Rockets. Five to two, Needham on top. Minute into the first quarter. Williams to Williams inside for Wint. Went back outside now, slinging it in for Alex Williams down to Antoinette Oko and out and in again. One point ball game. with it, acrobatic looking layup attempt, no good. Alex Williams picks up the loose ball on the floor, 522 to go in the first quarter, seven to four, the score Needham on top. And the uncontested rebound for the Rockets. With it, five minutes even to go in the first quarter. Ball yet to touch the floor. Now it does for number 11, who just dribbled it. Three quarter, uh, three point attempt, no good. And the boxers come away with it. Williams acrobatic lap, no good. Loose ball. It's going to be a jump ball, and it's going to be a Needham basketball. Rockets with it. Pump fake, corner three, driving baseline, number 11 off the back of the rim, no good, offensive rebound. Williams with the tip, 
Needham recovers just over the half court line. Now they lose it. Up and down the court they go, halfway through the first. Seven to four remains your score. Needham on top by three points. 15 left on the shot clock, corner three, no good. Brockton with the rebound. Fourth seeded Needham Rockets, 15 and five in the regular season, due for a 751 percentage. The boxers on the other hand, 10 and eight, good for a 556 win percentage. Winner of this game will go on to face the winner of Plymouth North and Bishop Fee in the 5 and 12 seeds. The Fitzbrockton will have that game for you on Brockton Community Access. Tied up as Brockton hit a three-pointer. It's seven to seven, three ten to go in the first quarter. Inside good ball movement for the Rockets. Short jumper, no good. Bounces off of Jayla Smith's face, and now she picks it up. Jane went down low, was fouled on her way up. She'll be at the line for a couple of shots. Two attempts, eight to seven the score. And Needham throwing it around again. Two and a half to go in the first. Eight to seven the score, Brockton on top. Thought Jave went hit two of two. Long three, no good for the Rockets. Number 12 has it. Jump ball called. Needham retains possession. for the Rockets. Top of the key, Jill Smith comes up with the steal. Smith up for Nilani Montero. He throws it out of bounds. Needle ball, 156 to go. Brockton with a one-point lead. for the Rockets good to give them the lead back nine to eight. They were score Rockets on top in first round matchup of the D1 South girls bracket. Jayla Smith, three, no good. Bounce pass, top of the key for the Rockets. 98, a minute and five seconds left in the first quarter. Three, no good. 
Elani Montero with the rebound for Brockton gives it off to Elizabeth Williams. Corner, Elani Montero three off the back of the rim, no good. Needham with this rebound, a lot of missed shots early in this one. And there's a converted two pointer for the Rockets. They come up with the steal now, throwing it out of bounds. However, off balance. Where are the Rockets? 28.8 seconds to go. Brockton ball, no shot clock. Double team, Doko down low, her layup no good. And the ball ping pongs out of bounds off of Brockton. Not how they imagine the last shot of the quarter going. 18.7 to go, Needham with an opportunity to make it a two possession game going into the first break. Number two of the Rockets has her shot blocked, gets the loose ball. Now it's what Elko fighting for it. Force out on Needham, so Brockton with the inbound with less than a second to go. Well, the shot is waved off, didn't go in anyway. 11 to 8, your score at the end of the first quarter. A lot of work to do for both of these teams. Needham expected to be the victor here, but. There's always a chance in the playoffs. Fifth seeded Rockets, one of the best teams in the state at 15 and 5. The boxers have had their up and downs. So second quarter about to get underway here. 11 to 8. Rockets on top. Antoinette Oko turns it over to the Rockets. Bounds off of Brockton. Need a little inbound right in front of the Brockton bench. The ball is wet. He hit some of the water over on the far side of the Brockton bench.
Ball movement so far in this game for the Rockets. Layup attempts, no good off of that big interior passing. Brockton takes over. No one gets a score here in that sec this second quarter, a full minute in. Williams to the corner for Alex, driving baseline here. Attempt, no good, Neater takes over. A lot of missed shots early in this game for both teams. And now Alex Williams coming up with a steal. Williams laying it up and in. One point ball game, 11 to 10, 6.30 to go in the first half. That's a travel that wasn't called. Ball ping pongs to Elizabeth Williams. Alex, a long three, no good. Needham with the rebound. Five and a half to go now in the first half. Leader picks it up. Three pointer for number two. No good. And the rebound for the Brockton Boxers. Shots in this one. Needham Brockton will take over here. Halfway through the second quarter, 13 to 10. Who saw this one coming? Starting this game, turnovers and missed shots. Probably give a 35 to 32 right now. All the shots working very right Here's a foul on Alex Williams. Alex Williams' second personal foul. Jalen Smith comes back in.
another missed shot for the Rockets leads to a bracket off the of three. And it's good from way downtown. Tie ball game 13 to 13 with three minutes to go in the first half. Needham looking to counter. No good. Offensive rebound, but Jude Wick ends up picking up the loose ball in the paint. Shots and turnovers for both teams, 13 to 13. Both teams easily shooting under 50%. Montero down low, she turns the ball over. Two minutes to go, first half. Just currently screaming for a travel. He's not going to get that ball. Here's a block by Nailani Montero, and the ball finds its way to Elizabeth Williams. Williams pivoting, getting down to Depina. Got a playoff from Needham, buck 38 to go in the second quarter, 13 to 13. Baseline trying to force it in. Needham takes over a minute 30 to go. That ain't going to wrap this game for the Rockets that believe. Foul's going to be called here on number two. Jade Witt will be at the line. Second called on Brockett. Converted two pointer for the Rockets. 17 to 13, four point ball game. Jade went down low, no good. Rockets with the ball here. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. The passing starts going again for the Rockets. And a foul committed by Manny Montero. Timeout called here by Brockton. 27.7 to go. 17 to 13. The score. Need them on top. Missed shots early in this one. Missed shots and turnovers, the story so far.
Spoon with 20 seconds of skill, 19 to 13. Beat him on top. Williams was called for a push as the buzzer sounded. And so Needham will have a couple of free throws here with no time remaining on the clock. Brockton has already been and shipped to go to the locker room. Of two, so the Needham lead at halftime 21 to 13. The boxers have a lot of work to do if they want to get back into this one. I think you, the first thing you got to work on is cleaning up the passing and working on those missed shots. 21-13 the score of the Needham Rockets leading the Brockton Boxers in the first round of the Division I South first round MIAA playoff matchup. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. Welcome back into Needham High School for second half action between the Needham Rockets and your Brockton Boxers in the first round of the MIAA cell section playoffs. The Rockets come in with a 21-13 lead. Neilani Montero with the steal. Her layup no good, but a foul called from behind on number 15, so she'll be at the line for a couple of shots. There was what I thought was a technical at the end of the first half was actually a push called on Alex Williams, who now has three personal fouls. And Needham converting on both of those opportunities. Good ball movement for the Rockets consistently all game. But Brockton clogging up the passing lanes and coming up with a lot of steals. The 
Pina can't convert down low. Bad angle lap, no good. Needham grabs their own rebound due to lack of help for number 30 of the boxers. Rebecca Tennis, her third personal. Jim goes deathly silent for number two to take that free throw for the Rockets. Jade Wentz. Off to Elizabeth Williams, back to Wint. Wint missed a hefty amount of games this season. She has the top of the key, pump fakes for three, gives it to Liz Williams. Now over to Nailani Montero, six and a half to go in the third quarter. Brockton down by eight. And the Rockets on the fast break, looking for some points in transition. Too high off glass, no good. Loose ball, Needham grabs it. Side now outside, a long two, no good. Rockets offensive rebound. Pina trying to come up with a steal, double dribble called on Needham. Brockton takes over 5.39 to go in the third. Needham's coach looking for an explanation why the double dribble was called. Dupina down low. She's pushed from behind. No call. Getting assaulted down low. Wint flies in. Nothing called. Chris Connolly losing his mind on the boxer sideline. 22 to 14, very low scoring affair. Number 12 for the Rockets followed on her way up. Who those Gene went called for the block. Of the Rockets, her first 509 to go in a very sloppy game here for both teams. Montero in the corner, floater, good. 22 to 16. Brockton drawing their way closer down. Match of eight points now, three no good. It's now a six point lead for the Rockets, but they recover the loose ball.
Seven on the shot clock. Ball hits the back of the rim to reset it. And out of play off of Brockton. So Needham will have a fresh 30 to work with. Needham with excellent ball movement so far in this game. Three-pointer, no good off the top of the rim. Loose ball, scrum, Alex Williams comes up with it for Brockton. through the third quarter now, 22-16. Needham only scoring one point so far in the second half. That's something Brockton's going to capitalize on if they want to come back in this game. Will stop its travel card on the Rockets. Williams with it now, losing it, grabbing it back one handed across the half court line. This Williams. Off to Jade went long three, no good off the back of the rim. High rebound brought down by the Rockets. 2.58 to go now in the third. Two from the charity strike. Good for number 12 of the Rockets. 24 to 16. It's an eight point lead for Needham. Williams called for a block. That's going to be her fourth personal foul. I'm going to call it against Jayla Smith, who wasn't remotely near the play. I'm sure Brockton's not going to argue that one. It's only Smith's first personal. Timeout called by Brockton. 2.03 to go in the third quarter. 29 to 16. Needham extending their lead to 13 points, their biggest of the game. If Brockton overcomes this, it would be nothing short of a small miracle. Kenari King, issue number 20, wearing street clothes. That's a big loss. She is normally the boxer's starting point guard.
Annalie Lorenzo in for the boxers. And that could be how Broughton comes up with a 13 point swing here as Lorenzo is a very good three point shooter. Williams grabs the rainbow inbound pass now to Lorenzo. Back to Williams. 140 to go in the third quarter. 29-16. Need them on top. Wind calling for it. Instead, the Rockets pick up the steal. Number two lays it up and in. Another takeaway, and the layup no good. Foul from behind is number one, Jaden Wink, will be called for the reaching foul. It's consistently finding the open person, and they do there a two, no good. Rebound to Rebecca Tannis, 45 seconds to go in the third, 31 to 16. Brockton just about getting doubled up here. Point three, no good. Grabs her own rebound, tries to hand it to Tannis instead when the Rockets grabs it. No good. Went with the rebound for Brockton. She throws it over to Alex Williams. Shot clock off. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Tannis down low, but it's not going to go. An offensive foul called on Alex Williams. That will be her fourth person. And she needs to settle down and Probably take a seat for a good portion of the fourth quarter. Timeout called by Brockton here. 11.3 to go in the third quarter. And we'll have a discussion over at the scorer's table. The three ref system seen for the first time this year. We've got a tech called on Alex Williams. Or it might be on the bench. It's going to go against the coach, Chris Connolly. Missing her first attempt. Two, so with three seconds left in the third quarter, Brock is getting doubled up. A jump ball called with 0.6 seconds to go.
the end of the third quarter, 32 to 16, the score of Brockton down by 16. off the inbound from Montero, three, no good. Jade Wynn, offensive board, spinning with it in around the world, and it finally falls. Elizabeth Williams, excuse me, with the rebound. Jade went three in and out. stoppage foul called on number two of the Rockets with seven minutes to go here in the fourth quarter Missing her first attempt. Monsters down by twelve now, thirty two to twenty. Slowly but surely. Trying to work their way back into this one. Three. No oh, good. Jade Witt with the rebound. Quickly gives it off to Liz Williams. Montero in for tennis, who has seen a lot more minutes than normal here with the absence of Canary King. Top of the key, no good. An offensive foul called out number two. That's her third person. Annalie Lorenzo. Three from almost half court. That had no shot. Hit the throat of the rim. Liz Williams just talking it up. Now a three for Needham. No good. And an offensive foul. Oh, 5.20 to go on the fourth. 12 point lead for the Rockets. 
it is 32 to 20. And that puts Brockton in a bonus for the remainder of this game. The biggest test in this D1 South bracket, for the first time in a while, it's not the Braintree Wamps, uh, it's the Bridgewater Random Trojans, 19-1 and one in the regular season, and the winner of this game could very well match up with the Trojans in the quarterfinals of the D1 South bracket. Four and a half to go, 32-21, and some nasty dribbling by number three, the Rockets. And she just creates her own land and takes it right to the basket. force of need of free throws. One and one situation now for the need of rockets. Kim Smith to Liz Williams off the rebound 34-21. Just about halfway through this fourth quarter. Turnovers, missed shots, story of the game. It remains so, and a turnover from Brockton needs to transition layup for number two of the Rockets. Quite a bit of playoff history between these two schools in multiple sports. The latest, of course, being a football matchup in the first round. That overtime thriller over on the other side of Needham High's campus. Need him coming out on top of that one. All on the way in. So more free throws for the Rockets. It's going to go against Elizabeth Williams. That's her first personal. Two fifty eight to go in the fourth, thirty six to twenty one, a fifteen point lead for the Rockets. Lorenzo coming down with the rebound. She has yet to hit a shot here. Jade Wint, three. No good. Montero off the glass, no good. Wint off the glass, no good. Montero, after a couple of offensive rebounds, it's gonna be a jump ball. Brockton will retain possession. The 
Lorenzo way downtown. No good. And Needham's playing the clock game. Two and a half to go. Slowly bring it up. And then stepping out of bounds with him was number 12. Lorenzo, way off the mark. Uh, two minutes to go in the fourth quarter, 36-21. Rockton down by 15, and barring a small miracle, they will be eliminated from the MIAA South playoff bracket here at Needham High tonight. Number three laying it up and in makes it. 8 to 21. The boxers, they go back to the drawing board. Only a handful of seniors among them, Annalyn Lorenzo and Jaden Wintz. Went the four year starter. Saw how the boxers performed without her in the latest stages of the season. Needham calls a timeout, buck 28 to go on the fourth. Happening at the same time as this game, it is the Brockton Boxers and the Newton North Tigers. Going in, I was talking to someone about that matchup, and I accidentally said Newton North Lions. And I got an airful because it's the Newton South Lions, the Newton North Tigers, and it don't take too kindly when you mix up the two mascots. Boxers, Newton North Lion, uh, Newton North Tigers, excuse me. We'll have that one for you on BCA. to go need him with the inbound. Layla DePina comes up with a steal. And at 15, DePina for two is good. 38 to 23, 15 point edge for the Rockets. Jump ball calls, and Needham retains possession. Bad angle left, no good, 46 seconds to go. It's 25 seconds to go, 40 to 23. Long three is good for number five of the boxers. 
40 to 26 now. The score, 10 seconds to go. Needham should just waste out this clock. And it looks like they will do just that. The buzzer sounds and the Brockton Boxers for the second consecutive year. Eliminated in the first round of the MIAA playoffs, this time to the Needham Rockets. The final score. 40 to 26 and for the boxers back to the drawing board the Rockets go on to the semifinals of the MIAA Division 1 South bracket and the boxers have an hour long bus ride to think about what went wrong tonight 40 to 26 the Needham Rockets eliminating the Brockton boxers from playoff contention here and the boxer season has come to an end for everyone here at Brockton Community Access. Our cameraman, Mike, the postman, Simmons, with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.